YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, welcome. All right, so today we're going to be talking about, I would say, a mid-level system. It's not the budget system that's never really going to do what you want it to do. There will never be a budget option. This is as little as it gets. My name is Jimmy. I go under the name DJ Infect or DJ Infectious. I focus on your professional audio needs. As you can see in the equipment behind me, I do hybrid setup. So I have analog, digital, mixed together, computer, tractor, Ableton. And in all of this, the computer is one of the most important factors in your entire setup for hybrid. After building the TRX40 Design Air, the Super 3960X, I also wanted to give you guys a system that's in a little bit more of affordable price point. You know, some of us, when we're running like, you know, 200 different, you know, plugins like the hand of God in Ableton, we need a computer that can keep up for less than $2,000. Now, now, hold on. Before I go into this, I want to invite you guys. We're going to be building this system this weekend. So make sure you check out the video. You can follow from home step by step on how this entire system is built. For under two grand, you can own a super system and do everything that the Threadripper 3960X can do, which is double the price, just a hint slower. So this is the 2070 Super by NVIDIA, okay? GeForce RTX. This particular card is mind blowing. You wanna make sure your video hardware can do encoding and render video properly in real time so all the stress is not on your CPU. This graphics card right here will take over the majority of the professional rendering, streaming, as well as every day and normal background tasks. All that video is done mostly on the card, opening up your CPU for your professional audio gear. But here's the other thing. This is a 2070 Super, meaning a second generation. So all of the kinks and bugs and driver issues have all been worked out. I know I can rely on this. I know it's a good price. And this is definitely my recommendation for a professional computer for professional audio and video editing. So I'm very happy with this card. The Ryzen 3900X, this is 12 cores, 24 threads for pro audio. Ableton Tractor loves cores, but your CPU is sort of what's telling everything else what to do, right? So your CPU, in video editing, video streaming, and professional audio, the more cores you have, the better. It's a great deal for around $375. You get a great deal. Actually, for double the price, you only get a few more cores for the 3950X, and I don't really think for an extra $400 it's worth it. So also from what I've seen from the budget builds that are out there that use one or two levels down from this, only really measly saving $100, and the performance isn't there. This comes with a Ryzen tested fan. You do not need the water cooling $300 upgrade. The fan that's in this is perfect. When Ryzen does its marketing, it says, hey, this boost clock at 4.8 turbo, blah, blah, blah. Well, here's the thing. They can't put those numbers on the box if and sell you a fan if it's not good enough for the chip. If you're gonna be overclocking, maybe a little bit of a different story, but for our professional purposes, we really don't like overclocks because when you start overclocking, you start corrupting your files, you start having the chance that your computer is going to overheat or reset. You know, we're not just running like crystal clear benchmarks. We're using hundreds of plugins, like all third party brands. Not everything's going to be perfect and our computer cannot have a hiccup or a restart. We're looking for stability and reliability, right? And no, this is not just the fan. I'm gonna actually open the box and show you. The chip is inside the box. So you're getting the, the chip plus the stock fan that it comes with. And let me go ahead and put that back. 
you know, you're saving like 50, 60 bucks that way. And when you start adding up 50, 50, 50, 50, 60, 60, 100, blah, blah, blah. Plus you're building it yourself. You're getting the system for well under two grand. This is like the audio magic making machine. It's gonna do great on rendering video as well. Plugs into my favorite motherboard, ASRock X570 Steel Legend Wi-Fi AX. These first came out. They did not have this board available. And I like that. Reason being is because it's not the first one to hit the market with all the bugs. Now keep in mind, you, th there's gonna be a video watching me actually build this so you can follow along and do it at home, saving yourself a tremendous amount of money by building it yourself and getting things like this motherboard that the pre-build companies, they don't sell this on their website. Why? I don't know. I guess because they wanna keep pushing you up to the more expensive ones, I don't know. But here's the thing, nowhere on here it says gaming. You wanna know why? Because this is a workstation. It can definitely be used for gaming, but they save all the good stuff for us work people because they know the gamers are only gonna game, right? So this actually has everything that the gamers have plus all of the professional work connections and connect doors in the motherboard. See that? And the power supply can be used as a stand for your motherboard, not recommended. <laughs> in the box, all sorts of great content on how to connect it. But again, you're gonna be able to use our step-by-step -step video, all your connection wires, and most importantly, the motherboard, the motherboard itself. itself. And the I wanna just point out another thing. Look at the M.2 slots. It has an independent fan. These are usually only offered on the six, $700 motherboards. 400 bucks, all right? Has the two X, this is X16. This is either X8 or X16. This is PCIe 4. You're good. You're good for upgradability. You can do a lot with that. You have two hyper M.2 slots for the fastest hard drive of all time can be in there to run your operating system, to run Ableton, and to run your um, plugins. Everything bang, right? Next, you got your CPU's gonna go right there, and you have your four RAM slots. By using the correct RAM, that Ryzen's always RAM hungry. This particular RAM is Ryzen tested RAM, it's gonna fill all four slots, giving us an extra 15% of speed and reliability in that dual channel setup. And I know what you're saying right now, you're saying, well, listen, if I get two sticks with more RAM on each stick, I can upgrade and throw two more in later, right? No. Later on, when we go to upgrade, we're gonna take this set, we're gonna put in an older computer, sell it to a friend, and we're gonna buy a whole new set, okay? Because we wanna make sure we're sticking with that reliability and not have all mismatched RAM in there. No RGB, we're saving money, it's in the board, board's happy, 32 gigs is plenty for professional audio on a mid-level system. Furthermore, you have tons of connectivity, okay? There's tons of extra connectivity. You can add so many additional ports in there. Let me just go ahead and show you this side. Look at all those ports. These are true USB 3.2 Gen 2, okay? You have your Wi-Fi, you, you even have right there, you can put an analog mouse and keyboard. Do you know how awesome that is? Analog mouse and keyboard? So like, let's say for whatever reason, your USB ports get all sideways, you can just plug analog in and bam, you have access to your BIOS, you have access to repair your computer. Back to that reliability. I love that feature. And, making this even more awesome, it has onboard graphics card. So let's say you're in the situation where your graphics card stops working or you wanna you know, multitask on two, gra on two monitors, you have that. So let's say you're all Hollywood right now, right? You're doing good. You're like, I can buy the biggest, baddest computer, which you should check out our video to see which one that is for your pro audio, video editing, streaming, the whole nine, but you know, pro audio. Now you're like, all right, I wanna use this as my server. You can easily do that. Right here 
is your TB1 header or TB underscore dash C or Thunderbolt 3 on Windows. Yes, Intel certified. You're gonna be able to run Thunderbolt 3. Do not buy an Apple computer, waste of money. You're getting it with this system. You're gonna have to buy an adding card to run it. I would recommend the Glen Ridge uh, Titan um, by Gigabyte, but you're gonna need that, obviously. But yeah, th this is awesome. This motherboard has a 10 phase power delivery system. 10 phase is a lot, okay? This power delivery system delivers micro volts to everything, including your CPU, because it's very demanding. And the more phases you have as the power you know, goes through, nicknamed as a VRM, the better and more efficient your CPU can run. It actually does a really good job of heat sinks to keep itself cool. Not only is the board, you know, 170 bucks, but it has everything other than, now let's say the $700 boards, right? Has maybe water-cooled VRM that you don't need because these VRMs don't get that hot to begin with. The $700 board will have 10 gig NIT or 10 gig internet if you're connecting to a big file, you know, backup server. This is not that system. If you need 10 gig NIT, you can add that card in later. There's really not much more benefits, maybe slightly better VRM, but again, we're not overclocking. So we don't need to spend an extra $500 just for some of these little quality of life for overclocking things or for big you know, networking towers and whatnot. So we're doing it where we're getting the fastest speeds, the most power, we're utilizing our money in all the right areas to get the absolute best performance. Anyways, this is my recommendation for professional audio. I'm sure you guys are all looking at why there is four hard drives here. Okay, let me explain. Number one, we've got the Rocket 4.0 by Subant. This company has created the fastest PCIe 4.0 hard drive NVMe M.2 status out there. Okay, what does that all mean? Basically, you're going to be able to read at 4400 speed and you're gonna be able to write around 4,000 marketed numbers, which in true read and write is about half. But now let me give you some comparison. That's gonna give me the ability to, to edit, install Ableton to it. I'm gonna install all my Adobe software to this hard drive. This is one terabyte. All my plugins are gonna be installed. It's strictly super fast powerhouse. If I'm editing a video, or editing audio, I'm gonna drag the files into this right here, do what I have to do, and then when I save it, I can save on here, but when I'm done, okay, it's going to move to my scan disk. This is my external drive, that's decently fast, okay? But again, it's good price, it's, you know, it'll get, it'll get the job done. So now I have my files on this guy, right? And then before I delete them off my C drive, because this is what's gonna call it my D drive, I can create multiple backups with the easy stores. So I have one terabyte on my C drive. I have two terabytes on my scan disk of decently fast, right? This is ultra fast. And then I have four terabytes of easy store for redundant backup. Okay, so this is a fractal case I absolutely love this case. The whole front panel allows you to have tons of airflow. The top gives you additional airflow. The back has airflow. Underneath has airflow. And you want to know the best part? It's stylish. It's bifractal. It's only 80 bucks. And I can get nine fans in here. Okay, so I'm very happy with that. I got nine reliable fans. I still have room for SSD, SATA drives. Um, I have room for my, end of, you know, basically the whole setup fits in there nicely. And I even have extra room for capture cards, you know, and do what I have to do. Your power supply, all right? So this guy right here, 
This is the 1000 watt up to 92% clean power. It's got the platinum status, okay, which most, you know, uh, pre-builders don't, you know, they try to sell you the gold one. But when you're doing professional audio, you want to make sure that you have no hissing, your computer isn't doing all sorts of weird things. Furthermore, for reliability, what happens if one of your power cords doesn't work anymore and you can identify that, maybe you see your graphics card not turned on, this is a 100% module power supply. So we can just go in and switch the wires at any time. And it's gonna be really good because as you're adding you know, additional backup space, as you're doing certain things inside your case, less wires the better, gives more airflow for all the other components. So reliability is always being thought of while building this particular system. So that's good, right? Um, and it's a great deal. This company, you know, decent name, um, you know, Superflower. I looked into it, decent company, and they're giving a thousand watt power supply on Labor Day weekend. I was able to get it for a really good deal. So I was very happy with this purchase. Get a Thunderbolt 3 card to put in this motherboard. In professional audio, Thunderbolt 3 is everything. This is gonna give us that 40 gigabytes per second transfer Thunderbolt 3, which all our audio interfaces are gonna be super happy about, so it's a must have. I do highly recommend the Gigabyte one. This is one that I had laying around, so I'm gonna be putting it in the system for professional audio testing. But yeah, get the Thunderbolt 3, use the Intel drivers, it is cross compatible, and you will be super happy you did. It's a little bit of difficulty to set up, but we'll go through that together. You can use one of these bigger coolers, look at the size of this cooler. It's like 50 or 60 bucks. It's worth it. If you're gonna be DJing in hot clubs or you're gonna, or your room's gonna get hot where you're making music, the stock fan probably isn't good enough. And this particular cooler is that much, let's say a slim better than all of the two or $300 water cooling systems out there. So that's why I really don't like them unless you're gonna go custom, but then you gotta like, drain it and clean it so it's just too much work it's not good for a professional workspace so if you have the extra 50 60 dollars and you want that reliability and you really don't want to worry about your cpu overheating or you know it's called throttling and then starting to automatically like underclock itself go with a little bit better of a heat sink you'll be happy you did my name is jimmy thank you for coming we do pro audio i'm going to teach you guys how all of these components professional Ableton, your computer, which is the most important part, how it's all gonna work together in that hybrid setup. We're gonna mix analog, digital together. We're gonna marry, we're gonna reduce the latency to zilch to none. We're gonna be able to video edit. We're gonna stream lickety split. So many great opportunities to learn here. We've gotten into your rack. You know, we're doing really fun your rack stuff. So, I mean, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's endless, you know, it's just, it's, it's endless. Like there's so many cool things to do, right? So let's go ahead, let's build this system. I wanna get the video on YouTube. So when you guys make your next purchase, you know exactly either what to ask for if you really can't build it yourself. And if you're gonna build it yourself, you'll know exactly which parts to get to get the absolute best bang for your buck with the same amount of power as a Threadripper 3960X minus just a little bit. Yeah, you 12 less cores, okay. But this is gonna give you like super powers in comparison to anything else in its price range. All right, cool. So stick here, we'll show you how to do it right and we'll get it done once and you can focus on creativity and uh, yeah, and you can spend your money to buy more audio equipment and all the cool stuff that we love. All right, guys, see you later. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.